Okay, so for this next video lecture, so our topic is about compliance audit. Okay, so when we say compliance audit, this is an audit engagement in which the goal is to determine whether an organization is adhering to the terms of contract or certain rules or regulation. So the regulatory agencies will use compliance audits to see if the business or the entity is actually complying with the terms of its operating license. So basically, compliance audit is concerned with the how the business followed certain rules or regulations that is being imposed to them, especially in terms of operations and reporting as well. Okay, so compliance audit is an independent evaluation this is to ensure that the organization is really following the laws, rules, and regulations or even their internal guidelines such as their corporate, corporate bylaws, controls, and policies and procedures. So normally, if uh, in the case of a corporation, aside from the financial statements, SEC also requires the evaluation of the corporation if they are actually uh, operating based on the nature of business that they have provided in their bylaws. Otherwise, they can be sanctioned or even be closed okay, by certain authorities if they will or if it will be found out that they are operating differently from what they have um included or written in their bylaws okay so that's how compliance is done so this audit will also determine if the organization is conforming to their agreements such as when the entity accepts government or other funding so in the case of uh, grants or government grants or subsidies there are certain guidelines and rules or procedures that the entity should follow on how they will use the fund and for what purpose okay if they will not follow or if for example they use the fund in a different uh priority or different uh or, or not in accordance with what is required from them then they can uh, be uh, sanctioned and they will repay what has been given to them because the purpose was not fulfilled based on the contract. Okay, so although most people are familiar with financial audits, uh, such as those for public companies through this Sarbanes Oxley Act or for the individual or corporate tax audits through the IRS or in our country we are under BIR so compliance audits are not merely financial so meaning to say that the purpose okay, and the focus of compliance audit is not only for financial terms this is on how the rules and regulations are being followed or not okay so again if this laws or regulations or contracts or agreement were not followed then the entity will be subjected to sanctions they can be filed a case against them or even closed their operations so audits may also review IT and other security issues so compliance with HR laws so we have uh, in the Philippines labor laws if the company are actually following the rules and the rights of the employees okay quality management systems such as the processes and internal controls of the entity if this is um being followed or established so an example of this is iso okay and other areas of the entity which may be subjected for compliance audit so compliance is one leg in the tripod of 
uh, GRC, which stands for Governance, Risk, and Compliance. So, basically, compliance is here as part of the element. Okay. So, it is undertaken to confirm whether an entity is following the terms of an agreement, for example, in a bond indenture. So, there it is stated on when do the entity will pay the interest to their creditors as well as the interest rate and the repayment of the original amount loaned or invested okay or other rules and regulations applicable to the activity prescribed by an external agency such as what we have mentioned for example by sec if the corporations really did follow their uh, guidelines okay, for them on how to operate and register. Okay, so those are for compliance audit. So we will proceed with the next type of audit, which is independent or external audit. Okay, so an independent audit this is the examination that is conducted by an independent accountant. So this type of audit is most commonly intended to result in a certification of the financial statements of an entity. So basically, this is uh, the same or related to that of the financial statements audit because under the independent or external audit, the focus or the subject matter also is the financial statements. So, this certification is required by certain investors and lenders for all publicly held businesses. Actually, this certification is, uh, this can be uh, represented by the internal uh, or independent auditor's report. So, this is uh, where the opinion of the auditor is uh, placed. Okay, so that is the statement that is very important for those users of the publicly held businesses. Okay, in order for them to be confident in using the FS that is really reliable. Okay, as well as it, this uh, opinion will increase the credibility of the financial statements. So, independent or external audit is an objective examination of FS or reports that is prepared by the responsible party, which is the management. So, usually a business entity, okay, by someone not affiliated with the entity, okay, to determine if such FS have been prepared in conformance with PFRS or other framework that, can, that may be applicable or appropriate okay for the entity so basically if you would try to recall the discussion about uh, auditing so this is what independent or external audit is all about so we mean the same thing so external audit provides reasonable assurance that the FS are free from material misstatements so again when we say reasonable assurance Okay, this is the assurance provided by the auditor, which is high but not absolute. Okay, so um, because again, uh, the auditor cannot give a hundred percent assurance about the fairness of FS because audit is subject to limitations and risks, which can only be reduced to an acceptably low level but it cannot be eliminated totally that's why uh, assurance that can be given by the auditor is only reasonable so the objectives of an external audit are the following first the accuracy and completeness of the accounting records so here we will determine if there are errors in the preparation of the, the books of accounts and the financial statements as well as determine if the transactions 
that are being recorded are authorized and all the necessary business transactions are recorded. Okay? Another objective is to determine whether the client's accounting records have been prepared in accordance with an applicable accounting framework. So, did they follow PFRS or other framework which may be applicable to them? Another objective is to determine whether the client's uh, FS present fairly the results of their financial position. So, this will be ver verified okay, um, because the accuracy and completeness will be evaluated as well. So, it will follow that their FS uh, did or pre pre are presented fairly or not. Okay. Another is, uh, there are other types of external audit okay, that may be targeted at specific issues concerning the client's accounting record. So, an example of this is the examination that search, uh, searches for the ex existence of fraud. Okay. But, um, in the course of the audit, uh, it is not actually uh, the main objective of the auditor to determine if there is fraud. Because in the first place, he is not uh, the expert in terms of fraud detection. There are someone who are trained and educated to do that. However, during the course of the audit uh performance he uh, there might be something that catches the auditor's attention that he may believe that fraud really existed okay but it is not his main objective or this is the main this is not the main purpose of audit to determine if there is fraud actually it should be the responsibility of the management to determine if there is fraud that exists in their uh, organization, okay? But however, if for some reasons, for a specific audit uh, service, they may uh, also include objective for the existence of fraud. But again, this is the not the main purpose of independent or external audit. Please take note of that. Okay. So, another type of audit is internal audit. Okay. So, basically, internal audits, they evaluate the company's internal controls, including corporate governance and accounting processes. So, these audits will ensure compliance also with the laws and regulations and help to maintain accurate and timely financial reporting and data collection. So, if you could still remember our discussion in the operational audit, okay, so this is somewhat related with the internal audit. Because in this case, under the internal audit, the internal auditors who were also the staff or employees of the entity are the ones who performs this audit okay so if you could see in the description they will evaluate the internal controls which are also the subject matter under the operational audit okay at the same time they are also concerned with the compliance so the same with that of the compliance audit okay so internal audits also provide management with tools Necessary to attain operational efficiency by ad ad identifying problems and correcting lapses before they are discovered by the external auditors. So, there are uh, entities or business enterprise which has their own internal audit department who do internal auditing. Okay, so but aside from internal audit, they are still required to uh, engage in external auditing 
for external reporting and um, compliance purposes. Okay? So, it does not mean that if you have in your company the internal audit department, you are free from uh, getting the services of the external audit. No. You still have to do external audit. Okay? So, that please take note of that. So, the purpose of internal audit is, number one, to make sure that the entity is operating based on their goals and objectives and they are able to achieve it. And this is also aids the management for the overseeing of the entire organization. That is the purpose of internal audit. Okay, so here they make sure that everything is in place, everything is followed and complied with. Okay, so internal auditors generally they, ad they identify a department, they would gather an understanding of the current internal control processes being followed. They would also conduct field work testing, follow up with department staff about the issues. They prepare official audit report, review the audit report with the management, they discuss it, and follow up with management and the board of directors as needed to ensure the recommendations will be implemented. So here, uh, for the report of the internal audit, um, this is... Uh, by giving recommendations to the management for improvement of the operation of the organization. So that's how internal audit is. Okay, uh, their purpose is in, their inter in the organization. Okay, so those are for the internal audit. So we will continue with the other types of audit with the next video lectures.